Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sonia. And I'm Justin. And we're the Funko Fiends. And today we are doing another, like, news slash update video to let you guys know what is coming out in the near future, what's been announced this past week, and, you know, just ultimately what you can expect in the near future. So these first are coming in May. This is Gears of War Wave 2. Obviously, you guys have already seen the concept arts, but these are the actual um, glam shots. So we've got Old Man Marcus. Dominic Santiago, Damon Bayard, and Augustus Cole. And then, of course, there's also Oscar from Gears of War 4. And then we've also got the 6-inch Brumac, which looks really, really cool. Um, I'm really, really excited for this new wave. I think it's going to be really, really cool when it comes out. So next up, we have some more specialty series coming soon. We have the Iceman Pop and an Iron Fist Dorbs. Uh, both of those are going to be coming in June. And those, if you don't know, the specialty series are um, comic book shop exclusive, like kind of smaller mom and pop shops rather than big chains yeah so those are exciting i mean i know everybody's really going crazy for the ice man the iron fist is really cool because he's actually like his one fist is clear just like the um, px exclusive pop that just came out has um so that's really really cool and obviously like the ice man has that cool ice effect that he's like standing on that's really so, cool so, i can't wait yeah, to see that, that one. those are really really exciting actually really cool upcoming stuff and so then next, we also have some Looney Tunes Dorbs and Captain Underpants Pops. So we've just got, like, Bugs Bunny. Then we've got the Bugs Bunny Chase with his carrot, the Daffy Duck, and then, like, a Superman Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, and then, uh, what, what is even that thing called? Pete Puma. I, I didn't even know what character that was. Um, and then we've got the Captain Underpants, just Captain Underpants and Professor Poopy Pants. And then there's also an FYE exclusive version of Professor Poopy Pants in, like, a what looks like to be a pimp suit. I, I mean, I don't... I don't know exactly, you know, anything about that. I read those when I was a kid, but yeah. I don't remember them. It was at a little all. bit like past my age limit. Um, these are both coming in April. All three of these are coming in April, and then the Looney Tunes Dorbs as well are coming in April. Don't really care about the Looney Tunes Dorbs. Um, we're not really big Dorbs people in general. Um, the Captain Underpants will probably get. I just don't know like what Professor Poopy Pants is, um, but yeah. So then the next thing that we're going to be talking about is the uh, Disney Treasures um, subscription box, the monthly box that is coming for Disney. Um, the first box is Mr. Smee and the Wicked Wench Dorbs ride. They also announced there's going to be a pin, but you can actually go subscribe right now to this. Um, they actually have it up on their website right now. You can do pay as you go. It's $26 per box. So that's where you're paying a monthly they're not monthly, they're bi-monthly. Every other month. Yeah, so you'd be paying $26 every other month. Or then you can do the six-month plan, which is $25 per box, or the 12-month plan, which we plan on doing, which is $24 per box. Um, and you get six boxes in a year because it's every other month. Um, but with the 12-month plan, you get like an exclusive Disney collectible anniversary gift. Which I don't really know what that is yet. That's usually, well, they actually just did for Smuggler's Bounty and um, and the uh, the DC Legion of the Collectors. They got trophies, like gold trophies. I mean, they weren't gold-plated or anything. They were mm -hmm. just like, you know, plastic gold trophies. But it's still cool. I mean, yeah. it's something that people that only, you know, that ex ex exclusively subscribe to this one-year plan. So basically, I think it's usually around $150 to subscribe for the one year. Um, but you get six boxes, obviously. You get like a little, you know, pin that comes with the six months as well. But then you also get like this actual physical, it's usually like an extra gift or a trophy, um, like extra, probably a pop or something like that that they'll do for people that support, you know, the yearly program to where you're paying, you know, extra money. But it also comes out all at once, so you're not paying monthly. So, uh, you know, it's something to consider. It's definitely like a cool way to go about it so that you're not paying every month or every other month. Um, you know, you're just putting it all down at once and then you're seeing a year's worth of, you know, cool gifts coming to you every other month. So If it's Disney, they're going to get my money anyway, so I'm going to do the year supply. Yeah, so um, they also said something about, like, when we were, like, Googling it just to, you know, find a link to it. Um, they kind of expect, I guess, stock to, to run out, which is kind of surprising. Oh, and also, these are only available until April 1st to subscribe. Yeah, you can only you can only uh, subscribe to this by April 1st, so I would try to get in there before that, because otherwise you're going to miss the cutoff, and you, know, you won't even be able to subscribe to this one, and you'll miss the March box, basically. Okay, so this next one is uh, from FunkoPopNews.com, and it is the Ursula and Cruella de Vil 2-pack, and it is going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, when did that say? Coming in April? These are April. Um, so uh, what it looks like, and um, there was actually like a thing where the HT, HT Nerdette did um, one of their like Periscope live streams, 
And um, they also had the Queen of Hearts, which I actually have right here as well, pulled up. Um, it's a very like blurry image um, I mean, because it was on a periscope. Those have like really, really low quality streams for some reason. But um, like Queen of Hearts, you can expect like actually coming soon as well, which they I think they said April. Um, so it's like Hot Topic is doing this kind of like Disney villains theme for April, it looks like. Which I love and I'm so excited. I really like the Ursula, but I don't know how I feel about Cruella de Vil yet. I like the old one more. But the but old one's like got a price tag on yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> These are really cool. Like, I, I love that Funko has been making a habit of doing this lately. Is they're going back and doing all these older molds and stuff of characters that, you know, are super both outdated and very expensive so that everybody can actually get them. You know, people who are fans of, you know, Little Mermaid or 101 Dalmatians and want these characters, you can actually get them now for a very affordable price. And this is going to be a two-pack, so it's probably going to be around the $29 range, which is usually what Hot Topic does. Um, so expect it to be around that price, but, I mean, it still beats paying the probably yeah. several hundred dollars you'd have to pay to get the, the pair of these. And they're updated molds again, like I said, so they're probably going to look a lot better in person as well. Okay, so then on ECCC day, uh, Funko posted a list of everything, and they had Michigan J. Frog listed as a Walmart exclusive. It later changed to Amazon, so it is um, on the website. You can pre-order it. It's $15. It'll be released March 24th, and you should be receiving it about March 31st, I think it said. Um, but this is on Amazon website for pre-order now. Yeah, well, that was like the five-day shipping. I was just checking. It apparently is available for pre-order. I thought it sold out, um, but they probably made so many of these that mm -hmm. it should be easy. I mean, if you guys have Prime, that's that's honestly like good news for, for a lot of people because um, Walmart shipping isn't always the best, so it's probably good that it got switched. I don't know why it got switched. I would assume it's probably some kind of like licensing issue or maybe walmart did something to make them mad or there's got to be some reason for it because they announced it would be at walmart and then they they pulled it and switched it to amazon which is weird because they don't ever really do that especially after funko officially announces something like that mm -hmm. like that was their that wasn't like you know a rumor or something like that that was like their official list that it said walmart so i don't know why it got changed around um, but that is probably good news actually that it was amazon because a lot more people you know buy on amazon because they have prime and stuff so then this is the last thing that I'm just going to be talking about real quick. Funko actually got tweeted at by uh, Funko Pops We Need, I guess, on Twitter, or Funko We on Twitter. Um, basically, they asked uh, any characters that we can expect or which ones they have planned for Overwatch Wave 3. Really exciting because they actually said Mercy, and that was one that I've really been wanting. Um, I think her wings and like her little staff and everything is going to look really, really cool as a pop, and I honestly think she'll turn out really, really well. Um, and that's really exciting that they actually, I, I love that they actually do that and they, um, you know, they actually talk about stuff like that that's coming soon. So it's really cool to know that we can expect her, um, and they're actually going to be doing like, you know, new molds again, which is awesome. I, I think they're honestly going to actually end up finishing the Overwatch, you know, set of all the characters. I mean, there's only like 24 characters as of right now, including the newest one, but they've done, you know, with wave two it's like they're at 12 or 15 or something like that That's so, crazy. That's so they're much. they're honestly like kind of close to, to like rounding it out and I feel like they probably will. So that's really cool. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you did like this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Leave us a comment to let us know if you like these types of videos and you want us to keep making more. And, of course, get subscribed to see more videos just like this one, as well as our review videos that we have, uh, you know, coming out every so often as well, or very often, I guess. Um, did you have anything else to add to this video, though? No, not really. I mean, I'm just really excited. If you do want the Disney subscription box, I would definitely try and do it as soon as possible. Um, we were kind of going through different pages and we saw something that said that they're kind of expecting it to sell out before April 1st. Um, so I'm going to try and get mine within the next couple days um, just because I don't want to miss out on getting all the special stuff with getting the year and the first box yeah it's definitely worth subscribing for that you know year because you save a little tiny bit of money and then you get the bonus stuff as well but i'm um, excited for like the disney villains because i've always wanted like the cruella de i honestly think Ursula. there's there's gonna be more too i kind of like i'm kind of expecting like a maleficent and dragon form or something like that i feel like that's something mm -hmm. that they would do um because they haven't really done that they haven't done a hades yet um, there's a lot of, like, potential villains that they could do, you know, with that. So it's really interesting, really cool. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. You guys have a good one. Good luck out there. And of course, keep on collecting. Bye. Hey guys, it's Justin. For the end of the video, we've put the button to subscribe, as well as a couple other videos we think you might also like. So get subscribed to see more videos just like this one from us soon. Thanks, good luck out there, and keep on collecting.